Um, here's the thing. I do want to say one thing. Like, I do believe that like AOC He's got no was chance. genuinely rattled by what happened at the Capitol. I, I, she's been – she is the target of right-wing media in a pretty demonizing way. I'm sure it was like – unsettling to have these mobs running through the Capitol. You have no idea if they're armed, what their intentions are. I'm sure that was scary. She made it through completely unscathed, not an even tiny little bruise on her body. Every other member of Congress in the Democratic Weird way to say caucus, that. including yeah. Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib and others, are equally demonized. And they're fucking over it. They got over it. If you want to be a member of Congress, you can't constantly center your own, like, lived experiences you're not there to like center yourself in every drama if you have an opportunity to strike a blow against wall street and the massive inequality and suffering that it causes you don't have the right to refuse first off she's there to center part of her own lived experiences because she was elected in a district in which there was a white old man who lived in virginia who wasn't representing his constituents and who was beholden to his donors Part of why she's there is because she's a lot more representative of her community than the past representative. The idea, though, that it's like inappropriate for she's like, look, you could come up with a list of three or four people that those people were in there that that are on the top of their list. I mean, I can like without a doubt, every single person listening to the sound of my voice, including those idiots, know exactly who was on their list. If you were to hold up, like if you were to interview every single one of those people who barged in there with the zip tie handcuffs, with the weapons, whatever it was, and ask them, who are you looking for? Mike Pence, Nancy Pelosi, AOC. That's how it goes. Everybody in the world who has half a nut of a brain understands that. Yeah, Ilhan responded to that fatuous BS. Uh, Y'all stop invalidating AOC's experiences because you aren't hearing about the experiences of other members. Everyone deals with trauma differently. Her stories are validating for so many of us with similar experiences, and she is showing people that vulnerability is strength. So, and the idea that and juxtapose that with policing, like you know, like they 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 got on me with tone policing Jimmy Dore when he is saying f her, she's a effing fraud, and blah blah blah. Um. They call that tone policing. And he, I mean, give me a break. He, she foreclosed an opportunity to work with Ted Cruz to get uh, financial reform. Is he out of his effing mind? Honestly, like, like what, how high on your own supply do you have to be that you actually believe that garbage? Well, you said it exactly right. Is this is like, who do you give credence to? Who do you trust more? Who do you give more leeway, more rope when it comes to these situations? And the idea that Ted Cruz is behaving in some sort of honest way. Again, I point to the 2019 attempted collaboration that fell through. It's not like she's opposed to working with Republicans. She did it last year. She did it in 29 or, you know, a year and a half ago, the summer of 2019. She tried to work with him on banning former lawmakers from lobbying. What happened? Nothing. Do you think that was from her end? I don't know. Glenn may not know who actually made that fall through, fall through. But like he's certainly giving a lot more leeway to the fascist wannabe Ted Cruz, who is a proven liar at every stretch than Ocasio-Cortez. And again, it just blows my mind that Glenn, and I have praised him on this show for his reporting, has faced death threats and harassment for his reporting. You would think that someone would be sensitive to that because all of us here on this show was... on her. She all of us were sensitive to that then. We were sensitive to that then. She wasn't beaten up, so it doesn't count. That's the bottom line. And by the way, like, how... How do you work in media and how are you that smart and you don't understand misogyny at this point? Jesus Christ. Well, like how that works. Sometimes your uh, reasoning is motivated by other things. Yeah. All right. We got to take a break. Head into the fun half. 646-257-3920 is the number. Just a reminder, uh, this program relies on your support. You can become a member at jointhemajorityreport.com. Um. And uh, you support the free show and then get the uh, get the fun half after that. Um, oh, geez. I just sah- I didn't realize how late. Uh, Nomi has been waiting patiently in the. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys the- OK? <laughs> yes, no, we're not. A- that. We're not, not OK. okay. <laughs> um, I, I tuned. I like watched it and then I thought, OK, something's going on. <laughs> Are you get? Well, are you are you in your microphone? You're a little echoey today. 
I understand you yeah. got uh, Sarah it's Jaffe. Far, it's far from her. Joshua Kahn Russell and Napoleon DeLegend on the program today. I do. You know my, my show already. This is I've memorized this stuff there. weeks in advance. Yeah, I think you got the wrong mic hooked up, though, Nomi. Yeah, I have a oh, feeling you're on your so computer long? mic, not your mic mic. Yes. Yep. Also, if that's the, uh, if that's the, what do you call it? What's it called? The igloo? What is that? Thing? The Yeti? The Yeti. No. Um, it says it's on this microphone. There's different, there's four different settings and some of them are a lot better. Than well, that. we'll play with I, it at the, at the break, but um, why don't you tell us who's on your show? Hold that microphone right up to your mouth. We'll tell you right now if you get, we're getting through that. I use this microphone on this setting every single day. No, no it's, it's not working. It's not, it's not coming through that mic. It's coming through your computer, but. Well, who's going to be on? Uh, we, uh, well, I just said who's going to be on your show. Where can people watch it? In the year 2000. Do you remember that? Um, <laughs> I'm aging myself right now. Uh, we have Sarah Jaffe on the show today uh, with her new book. And then we have Napoleon to Legend. And Joshua Kahn Russell, find us at Twitch at the underscore Nomiki underscore cons, <laughs> as well as patreon.com slash the Nomiki show and youtube.com slash the no me key show no me key show you got it i I got it Um, wait wait can i tell a story real quick if this isn't too annoying when uh, i went sure (laughs) thank you yeah when when i went to kindergarten my parents knew i was going to have an issue saying my name so my dad got t-shirts made up that said how to pronounce my name for the teachers to see so i think i have to get one for you sam Oh, that would size. be good. Not Very helpful. Like a, like a name tag. But like somehow it's spelled. not going to work because it's not even even like you called Liz Cheney Lynn Cheney twice yesterday. I'm so, <laughs> I corrected him on air, but it was just too funny. And then you still really don't have Kamala Harris down. I do have oh, Kamala no. Harris down. No, you say Kamala sometimes. Do I sometimes? All right. It's okay. I, I think I we should done. create a, a jar and make some money off this every time you make no a kidding. mistake. You make a ton of money. I mean, yeah. I've, I've mispronounced, uh, you know, I, I, like Matt, I I'm should. good with. <laughs> Emma, that I can do. Yeah. <laughs> um, with that said, uh, don't forget to check out uh, the Antifada, which I think I can say. Uh, Twitch.tv slash the Antifada. Check that out. And Matt, what's happening on uh, the Matt Leckian um, media universe? Uh, yeah, people might not have known. There's a new episode of Literary Hangover out, The Secret Diary of William Byrd of Westover. He's a slave owner in uh, 17, early 1700s Virginia who kept a secret diary that he kept in like a secret code and it got leaked or part of it got leaked. Some of the juicier ones might have been suppressed. But anyway, we talked through it. Um, Patreon.com slash Literary Hangover. All right, quick break. And we'll be back in just a moment. Left is best. Jamie and I may have a disagreement. Yeah, you can't just say whatever you want about people just because you're rich. I have an absolute right to mock them on YouTube. He's up there buggy whipping like he's the boss. I am not your employer. You know, I'm tired of the negativity. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. You're nervous. You're a little bit uh, upset. You're riled up. Yeah, maybe you should rethink your defense of that, you fucking idiots. We're just going to get rid of you. All right. But dude. 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 Uh, you want to smoke this joint? Yes. <laughs> Do you feel like you are a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good shit. Exactly. I'm happy now. It's a win-win. It's a win-win-win. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Now listen to me. Two, three, four, five times. Eight, four, seven, nine, oh, six, five, oh, one, four, five, seven, two, thirty-eight. 56, 27, one half, five eighths, 3.9 billion. Wow. He's the ultimate math nerd, don't you see? Why don't you get a real job instead of spewing vitriol and hatred, you left wing Limbaugh? Everybody's taking their dumb juice today. Come on, Sammy. Dance, dance, dance. My first post-coital scene with uh, a woman. I'm hoping to add more moves to my repertoire. All I have is the dip and the swirl. Fine, we can double dip. Yes, this is a perfect moment. No. Wait, what? You make under a million dollars a year. You're scum. You're not paying. Excuse me? Fuck you, you fucking liberal elite. I think you belong in jail. 
Thank you for saying that, Sam. You're a horrible, despicable person. All right, going to take a quick break. I want to take a moment to talk to some of the libertarians out there. Take whatever vehicle you want to drive to the library. <laughs> what you're talking about is jibber jab. Classic. I'm feeling more chill already. Good. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. Hey, Sam. Hey, Andy. Are you guys ready to uh, do some evil? Hitler was such an idiot. I think I might be a Nazi. Agree. No. Death to America. You. Yes. Wow. Wow, that's weird. No way. Unbelievable. This guy's got a really good hook. Throw our hands up. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, but damn, I gotta get off. No worries. Let's, let's, I want to just flesh this out a little bit. I mean, look, it's a free speech issue. If you don't like me... Hey, 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 shut up. Thank you for calling into the Majority Report. Sam will be with you shortly.